So first of all, our education award. Dr. Catherine Mariplis. Well, here's a quote from a recent Seneca research paper funded by the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada on the reasons for low female enrollment in pilot training. It says, having familiar support is considered to be essential in an individual's decision to pursue aviation as a career. In addition, individuals who have family members employed in the aviation industry help students to create and sustain interest as well as understand the field of aviation. Well, Fotis Mariplis, an aeronautical engineer working at Canadair, took every opportunity to teach and challenge his daughter Catherine and her siblings as they grew up. By the time Catherine was in high school, the Canadair Challenger was being developed, and the computer and numerical methods used in its design and championed by her father profoundly interested her. This ultimately led to her present path of study and research. Catherine started out in 1983 as an honors graduate in mechanical engineering at McGill University. Achieved, among other degrees and honors, a PhD in aeronautics and astronautics from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. She's presently an associate professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Ottawa and has become an outstanding educator, researcher, and promoter of women in aerospace. Catherine's determination and perseverance are evident in her continuing su successes in an extremely competitive male-dominated field. She completed a master's and a PhD in aeronautics and astronautics at MIT, holding the NSERC and Zonta Amelia Earhart International Fellowship before pursuing postdoctoral studies in computational mathematics and aerospace engineering at Princeton University. Well, subsequently, she served as a professor at George Washington University, as well as a program officer at the U.S. National Science Foundation. Of particular note is her direction of the NASA Goddard Graduate Program for Research and Education in the Space Technologies during her post at George Washington, the only woman professor in her department. She's also held a position as a summer researcher for the Institute for Computer Applications in Science and Engineering at the NASA Langley Research Center. As a faculty member at the University of Ottawa since 2008, Catherine's enthusiasm for aerospace is infectious and inspiring to thousands of students, from undergraduates to postdoctoral fellows. Her teaching focuses on the fundament fundamentals of aerospace engineering and computational aerodynamics. Well, in addition to her engineering teaching and research responsibilities, Dr. Mariplis co-supervises graduate students in communication, history, sociology, and education, those who pursue interdisciplinary research on Canadian women scientists and engineers. In 2011, she was selected as the NSERC Pratt & Whitney Canada Chair for Women in Science and Engineering, the first woman from aviation aerospace to be selected as one of our national champions for the advancement of women in science and engineering. As chairholder, she's built a program based on communication to youth, to the public through initiatives like her Women in Aerospace feature and with industry. Now, particularly significant is her work with Pratt & Whitney's Canada's Women Leadership Initiative, developing intervention, interventions to improve employee diversity and develop female leadership among Pratt, Whitney and Pratt's, Pratt & Whitney's 9,000 employees, including two current research projects on women in aerospace. Now another highlight is her earlier work on the forward to graduate school and forward to professorship programs for women in science, engineering and mathematics, funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation. Her vision and leadership have now brought these programs into Canada, with similar workshops being delivered coast to coast. Between her work with NSERC and NSF, she's motivated and inspired over 1,500 doctoral women, 1,000 youth, 1,000 university students, 1,500 professionals, and 400 academics with direct workshop programming and content for career leadership development. Her impact is truly outstanding. As a continuing contributor and organizer in the Canadian aerospace industry through Aero Montreal and the Consortium for Research and Innovation in Aerospace in Quebec, 
Catherine enhances the presence of women in major aerospace public events. She assembled a panel of women leaders at the 2013 Aero Montreal Innovation Forum and has been invited on the organizing committee of the new chapter of Women in Aerospace for Quebec. Outside of advocacy work, she's an accomplished and respected researcher and academic. She's a national authority in her field, serving as president of the Computational Fluid Dynamic Society of Canada, or CFDSC, where she's been successful in making board composition changes that recognize diversity. She's also served CFDSC through its annual conferences, previously taking leadership roles on the scientific committees, organizing committees, and as a session chair. All this in addition to presenting her own work. Her research concentrates on the development of highly accurate and efficient numerical methods to study the transition to turbulence on aircraft wings for leaner fuel consumption and improved performance. Additionally, Dr. Mavriplis is an executive counselor and an Ottawa branch counselor for the Canadian Aeronautics and Space in Institute and was a primary organizer of the Women in Aerospace Reception at the annual Cassie Aero and Astro Conferences. She also serves on the board of the Canadian Coalition for Women in Engineering, Science, Trades and Technologies Set Centre, the Canada Science and Technology Museum's Hall of Fame Selection Committee. She's also an in-demand speaker and regular contributor to scientific literature and media. And may we say, with all these outstanding professional accomplishments and ongoing activities, she's also the mother of four children. <laughs> I told you they're overachievers. Dr. Catherine McRipples has been inspired by her aeronautical engineer father, is also a legacy of Elsie McGill, the world's first woman aeronautical engineer and a pioneer in the pursuit of access for women in aviation and in other fields. Dr. Catherine Mariplis is our Education Award recipient for 2016. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Mariplis. <laughs> and presenting her trophy is Lynn McMullen, 2014 Elsie Award winner in the Education category. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the foundation, first of all, for this wonderful honor. Glad, I'm, it's interesting to see all those things in one place because we don't often <laughs> think about everything we've done over a career. Uh, so thank you to the foundation and to all the supporters of the foundation, Porter, and all the ones you've mentioned previously. I'd like to particularly thank Pratt & Whitney Canada, who's been my supporter for my chair since uh, 2011. I don't know if there's any people from Pratt & Whitney here tonight. Um, also all the funding agencies, so NSERC in Canada and uh, the National Science Foundation has been a long time um, supporter of my work in the U.S. So I did spend 25 years in the U.S. I've just come back recently. Uh, but most of all, I'd like to thank my family. So you've seen a picture of my four kids. The two of them are here tonight. And uh, Chris's lovely girlfriend, Liz, as well, who are students at University of Toronto. Uh, my father, for one, as I said, as has been said, was a great influence. So not only, you know, talking about turbulence and wings every single night at dinner, but also <laughs> uh, making sure that you skied uh, whether it was minus 30 degrees or not, you have to ski and you're not allowed to break for lunch and things like that. So that also contributes to being a perseverant. And then all of my colleagues, you saw lots of them in the pictures and all the graduate students over all the years. And of course my nominator, Elizabeth Croft, who has a chair, had a chair similar to mine in UBC. So thank you to all those people and thank you to all of you for sitting through all of this. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you.